So in the springtime when people talk about allergies, it's usually that they're having problems with their nose. Could be stuffy, runny, itchy, steezy nose. Often associated with eye symptoms, itchy, watery, red eyes. People can have cough and be utterly miserable. In the St. Louis area, we have uh, problems in the early spring to late spring with all the tree pollens, the dusty stuff that comes up on cars and looks greenish. Then we move into the grass pollen season in May, uh, usually mid-June. We can have weeds during the summertime, but in St. Louis, ragweed season uh, usually revs up about mid-August, goes to the end of September. And St. Louis, being kind of a moldy place uh, for much of the growing season, can be a problem for mold-sensitive individuals for a good part of the growing season. And there can also be some molds indoors that can cause year-round problems. My first message is there's so many treatments available for allergies, there's no reason to suffer. Uh, we talk about three general approaches to allergy. First, try to avoid what you're allergic to, which is awful hard to do if you're talking about outdoor pollens. Although we do tell people, try to stay indoors, keep air conditioning on, keep windows and doors shut. Then you've got all sorts of medications. And these days you can get some over-the-counter antihistamines, nasal cortisone type sprays, uh, as well as there are prescription versions of those and also other types of drugs including nasal antihistamine sprays, um, other drugs that are pills that work on different types of inflammation other than from those caused by histamine. And then the third uh, approach is allergen immunotherapy. This includes both conventional allergy shots as well as for certain things such as uh, grass, uh, ragweed, um, sublingual immunotherapy where you can actually take tablets under the tongue and that can reduce your long-term response to allergies. In terms of when to start allergy treatment, if you have problems during particular allergy seasons, it's important to start things early because what happens over the course of an allergic season is you get more and more inflammation developing, for instance, inside the nose linings. And therefore, if you don't nip it in the bud, um, it's much more difficult to get turned around. Oftentimes, we'll advise people to start their medications at the very first sign of developing allergy symptoms. And for certain situations, we'll even say, okay, you're allergic to ragweed, which usually starts around August 15th, start your medications even a week before that just to be on the safe side.